Guys, this is the biggest news in PHP in over 20 years. PHP Foundation just started last year, this year getting the full swing. What does it mean for you and why is it the biggest news in the world of PHP? Now guys, let me give you some backstory. Let's expand on this stuff. PHP since the beginning has always been sort of like an accidental evolution. The internet was being built in 1994. PHP was actually the personal home page, you know, that was the acronym for it. But it was a couple of ideas that we needed a language that suited the internet. We needed a language that was more democratized, that people could learn easily and learn quickly. And that was the evolution of PHP, right? I mean, that was how the internet was formed. Remember, back in those days, I was around back then, right, okay? And, and I can tell you, right, that we didn't have all the resources that you have out there. There wasn't Stack Overflow. There was a bunch of burning boards, a bunch of, uh, you know, articles out there about coding, but it wasn't this big thing that you guys are so familiar with. But that's where PHP came from, a grassroots movement built through the years. But what has happened is that no one has taken the reins of PHP. And finally, Victor uh, decided that it was time to move on. This caused a accidental crisis in PHP because basically you had a torch bearer running in front and then he said, I had enough, it's time to go. And few things were motivating that decision. A big amount of it is, has to be with money. Look guys, this is the game has changed from a hobby business into a real money. Software development is big bucks. It's big bucks, it's big returns, it's big companies. So when something like PHP powers the internet, right, and no one's getting contribute, you cannot expect charity from the contributors. And I say the same thing when I deal with my clients. Yes, PHP is free, but you can't expect the programmer. So what happened is that he quit and suddenly all the people around, sitting around, all the people in PHP world, especially the top group, started looking at themselves and said, you know, we have to change the way we do PHP. We have to become professional and we have to make some money from it. You can offer these things free. You've been it, I've been on the internet, like hot scripts, you know, all these resources are the way for free. PHP is free. PHP Zap is free. The, you know, all the stuff that comes in, Composer, you know? So finally, what happened is that people got together, especially JetBrains. Kudos to those guys, right? They're the makers of the famous PHP Storm. You guys are fam familiar with that, one of the best IDEs in the market. And these guys all came together. It was like in bringing out the Guardians of the Galaxy. Finally, the biggest brands in the game, got together and raised. We had a target of about 300,000 and uh, now it's 400,000 and put in all the effort into that. So this is gonna change the landscape of PHP. I think it's really for the better. 
and there's a couple of reasons why. Number one, it's about bringing money. Okay, we gotta start charging for this stuff. The ge- as I said, game of uh, software development is different. Why should people at Google be making millions of dollars, right? Making, uh, you know, at Facebook and Google when the guys who built the PHP are make- not making anything much. So this is the first case of thing. We're gonna actually be able to raise some money and hire some people full time and actually pay them for their contribution. Pay Katik for you know some of the plugins he's pulling out. Pay some of the developments to push PHP with Fiverr. All those kind of stuff that is gonna move the language. Number two, it's a form of stability, right? If something is being paid, that something is going to be maintained, right? Because people want to get their values worth. If you're contributing to it, there's an incentive for it. And this is a big reason for languages that just die out because no one's paying the piper, you know? It's like, I'm looking at you, you're looking at me. That is a major problem in the business, but for the lifetime and the stability of PHP, if we have this going on, this is gonna be good for you guys who are all coming in learning PHP and for the the history and the, the stability of the language. And the third thing, right, is that we're finally bringing out the commercial people in PHP. This is a big step. You know, guys, you know it, that PHP runs WordPress, the biggest blogging, the biggest content management system on the internet. It's behind some of the biggest frameworks that take up like Laravel or Y2. It's behind some very cool technologies, you know, WP Engine, you know. And none of these guys, the millions, thousands of agencies out there that build on top of PHP. I'm not just talking about WordPress. I'm talking about Craft CMS. I'm talking about uh, uh, Presto Cart. I mean, these guys, it's a huge ecosystem and not one dollar goes towards the development of PHP, the thing that everything sits on. But now it's finally time. We've got all these guys in, PHP is finally coming up. I mean, one of the big arguments that everyone always has is, oh, okay, where's the big gorilla backing you guys up? I mean, we've got Google and all. You gotta understand, guys, a lot of languages out there are supported by the super billion dollar companies because they have an incentive. So Java was built by Sun Microsystems, which is now owned by Oracle, okay? React, run by Facebook, who, another billion dollar, multi-billion dollar company. Uh, Node.js supported by Google. And while they may say, look, this is open source, and we're sort of like putting it in the domain, they have their hand on the scale, pushing it and moving it. PHP doesn't have that. I mean, more or less, the thing just runs and people just contribute. But now with the foundation behind it, that's different. We have all these guys, right? The whole entire alliance of companies dependent on this, with their fingers on the scale, finally coming out of the darkness, supporting us. And you will find, right, just like the Guardians of the Galaxy, that the, we have a much, much deeper bench than anyone ever expected. And I want to see a lot of the other companies, right, actually come out and support the language. So these are really, really big steps towards the foundation. So what are we on Lionel the Tech Leads channel going to do to support PHP as well. So a few things I'm going to do in terms of content. One is that I am going to start featuring the companies behind the foundation. I'm going to go and take a look at all of these guys. We're going to try to get some interviews. We're going to actually ask them the big question like, where's the, the commerciality of PHP? Where do you guys make the money out of PHP? And this will help inspire a whole group of you guys that actually PHP is not the freaking charity language that you guys are looking. Real money behind it. I mean, you combine WordPress together as one company, it's probably bigger than uh, Google and, and uh, um, Facebook combined. Now, the thing I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to talk to some of the people at the foundation, especially Roman, who is the currently the lead person at the foundation. I've already made contact with him. And we're going to find out about what the directions are at PHP. From the top, we're going to know and get his insights of where it's gonna go and some of the directions and how are they spending that $400,000 a year. And then the third thing, right, is we're gonna find ways to get involved with the foundation to at least contribute, and I'll give you more information about that in the future. So guys, this is a big 
big, big step to PHP. I mean, having something commercial and some, an entity that's actually running it together, not like loosey goosey, that is gonna be a big step for PHP. So 2022, really, really exciting. Lots of content for you guys. I'm gonna go and continue this. If you like the ch channel, you like the story, come on, like, subscribe guys, let's go. And that's the bottom line because the tech lead said so.